G'day everyone and welcome to the San Diego Zoo. Welcome to the San Diego Zoo you guys. Uh, there's no animals around me but I swear I will show you some. Planet Zoo, a new game, has given me this amazing experience. So we're gonna be checking out amazing animals from the San Diego Zoo and I am so excited. We are just looking at the giant tortoises right now. They're amazing, they move so painfully slow but it's just such a nice break from our fast paced lifestyle these days. It's a nice reminder to take a moment to smell the roses in life. Oh, hello. Oh, oh goodbye. Oh. This is our way of transport whilst we're at the zoo. Very bougie. Watch out, we're gonna crash. Oh my god. Crikey! <laughs> I think I'm being classic. <laughs> <laughs> Was a big one. A big elephant that is. <laughs> I am really excited to show you guys how I got so messy because I just had the honor of feeding and giving an elephant a pedicure, which I never thought I'd do. So I'm excited to show you guys what just happened. Oh my God, you guys. Crikey, she's a beauty. So we all get a special animal solar experience. And I think I'm about to have mine with an elephant and I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> I have to calm down or else the animal will sense that I'm excited. Your energy is really me. high. <laughs> Breathing exercise is going to fix Ella. Yeah. I have a mic cut. <laughs> Elephant dance, Deli. Yeah, for sure. Ooh. <laughs> Double truck. Also, last time I filmed, I went to the bathroom with my mic on. Not a good idea. That sound you're hearing is unique to Tembo. Yeah. She's actually purring or blowing air over her tongue. We call that a raspberry. That's so cool. And she typically Hi. does that when she's <laughs> interested in the food we're offering her. Wow, she's beautiful. Elephants make some unique sounds. The trumpets we associate elephants making that we hear in TV and movies are mm -hmm. sounds they don't make very often. So she's just happy, so she's blowing raspberries. She's happy, yep. She's very interested in what we're doing. She's calm, she's comfortable, she's interested. And how old is she? Tembo here is about to turn 49. Wow. So that's an incredible age for an elephant to live to be. Averages late 30s, early 40s. Really? And so she's right past that average lifespan now. And our program here at the zoo focuses on geriatric care. So mm -hmm. our program is basically focused on retirement. Yeah. making sure that these older elephants receive all the care that they need. Oh, she's so So now that Alan's here, we'll set it up if you want to bring the hose over, and we're going to give you a special opportunity. Tembo here needs a little pedicure care. I got it. So we're going to set her up and clean her feet. You ready for a pedicure? Foot. Good girl. Wow. So I'll have Alan go ahead and rinse it off. Now the elephant's foot is quite unique. Five big toenails, and why don't you come on over? Hi. Just five big toenails. So go ahead and put your hands on there and get a chance to touch it. So all those toenails go straight up into her leg. If wow. you touch the bottom of her foot, you'll notice it's nice and smooth. Yeah. That's a callus, and that's going to protect her foot as she walks over all of the uh, substrates here at the zoo. Oh, you like that. <laughs> so part of the pedicure care is actually cleaning it every day. So if you want to grab that Scrub brush. Welcome to the Delicacy Salon. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna give you a good scrub. 
you ever have a bit of a goss with her, you know, yeah. at the nail salon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is our time to gossip, talk about what happened the day before. Have you seen All any that. cute guys lately? <laughs> I don't think she has. Ah. All the elephants we have here at the zoo are girls. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. That's fine. It's amazing how you can just say foot up and she'll go ahead and do that. So as part of her overall care here at the zoo, it's important that we train her to participate in that. We yeah. want to avoid asking the elephant to do something they're uncomfortable with. We want to avoid things like anesthesia or putting them to sleep for yeah. any type of care. So we've trained Timbo and all the other elephants to be active participants in all of their care. Yeah. And so training her to put her foot up like this and allowing you to do any of the cleaning that you have to do is very important for her. There we go. Get all those bubbles oh. off. There you go. Yeah. Rub a dub dub. Oh. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> we'll work on your technique. We'll have you do one more foot. Okay, How about good. that? Okay, so if you want to take a step back, yeah. I'm gonna ask her to switch it up and we'll have you do the other foot. Okay, you ready? <laughs> You're very good. See, she's rather patient. She's a very good girl. She seems to enjoy it. I mean I'd enjoy this. <laughs> Have you ever painted a toenail? I've never painted an elephant. No, you wouldn't want to because of the chemicals, right? Probably because of the chemicals, and I'm not exactly sure the elephant would like know that. what color we picked for them is just right. So True. Maybe ivory. <laughs> <laughs> nice and white, yeah. They can have amazing relationships with humans, right? Like Absolutely. feel quite close, they're quite emotional. Yeah, elephants are extremely intelligent. They're highly social animals, not just with each other, but with they're human caretakers when they happen to live under managed care. Uh. So I think it's important to point out the way we care for the elephants. It's something called protected contact. So as you mm -hmm. have kind of noticed as we've interacted with her, it's always been through a barrier. Yeah. That's gonna make it safer for me, you, for her. She's extremely large. She's the biggest animal we have here at the zoo. And she's just under 9,000 pounds. And even though she does have a great relationship with myself and the rest of the caretakers here at the zoo, we have to remind, remember that she is a wild animal. Yeah. She's allowed to act however she wants to. And I'm not another elephant, so I don't pick up on all those little nuances that maybe yeah. another elephant would. This is a low calorie food item for her to enjoy. So if you want to just peel off one leaf at a time and offer it to her right there. Hello. Oh, I uh, try and go low cal as well, so yep. we have that in common. Living in Southern California, she always has to have the beach body. Calorie deficit, right? So she is an herbivore. She consumes all vegetation, plant material. Um, here at the zoo, she consumes about 150 to 200 pounds of food a day. Yeah. That's mostly hay, tree branches, uh, some produce, the lettuce. We have been offering her celery and cucumber all morning. She blurs out. It's her nose. I, yeah. So she's breathing through it as you're feeding her. That feels so weird. <laughs> oh, that's and my And when we up. interact with the elephants and feed them like this, uh, this is good information for us on their demeanor. Well, a lot of my viewers often worry about zoos and their care for animals. Um, obviously, she's in very good care. Yes, she receives better care than I do. Yeah. <laughs> I hope Same. to retire here too someday. Yeah. <laughs> Just be here being uh, hand fed to scrubs. She gets free room and board. <laughs> she has seven full time veterinarians to provide her the health care she needs. There are nine keepers that care just for her and the elephants at the zoo. She gets all the food she could ask for. She doesn't have to worry about predators. Yeah. She has lived well beyond her natural lifespan. Yeah. And, you know, she gets <laughs> to be an ambassador for her wild counterparts. Elephants in the wild are losing their battle with humans. Mm. Uh, humans kill elephants for their tusks and compete with elephants for, for resources such as land and food. Yeah. And we lose close to 100 elephants a day in the wild due to the human-elephant conflict. And if we're not careful, these guys will be extinct in the next 10 to 15 years. Okay. So aside from just what she receives as an individual here, she's representing all the other elephants in the world. Yeah. 
and not everyone gets a chance to travel to Africa or Asia and see these guys up close in the wild. And yeah. so she kind of sparks hope in that, you know, people coming here to the zoo and seeing her and understanding just how amazing she is. She knows she, knows she, she is. is amazing. <laughs> well, we'll spark people to care and really make sure that these guys have a, a bright future yeah. uh, as a species in the wild. And I think <laughs> you've done zookeeping a service by being quite dirty just after cleaning. Of course. Feet. So I think you would, Worth it. if you apply, we'll hire you. Really? Sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just in an and Go ahead and, and just take big handfuls and drop them right there in her nose. Do you feel like a treat? This is one of her favorite food items. Oh. Yum. That's good. Yum. Oh, it's like putting them in a little funnel. Yep. <laughs> and because it's her nose, you can see that she has a septum just like we do, so it separates two nostrils. Wow. And it's designed like our nose. If something goes too high, she's got to blow it back out. One time, uh, I drink from a water fountain and it was so weird because it just started coming out of my nose like it didn't go down yeah it went out and i imagine i think a lot of people forget that your mouth and your nose are connected i was terrified <laughs> <laughs> but she's very talented she can hold three gallons of water in that nose it's so good isn't it yeah cool well thank you she very thank much enjoyed that thank you so much Thank you very much. Yeah, Bob. absolutely. This is such a treat. So that is why I'm so dirty, but totally worth it. So thank you so much, San Diego Zoo and the zookeepers and Planet Zoo for this amazing experience. And of course, the star of the show, Tempo, for being so patient. So Samaj is about yeah, to the, have his solar much. experience with hippos right right and yep. I reckon they're going to get payback from him killing them in Planet Zoo. Revenge, 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 revenge. <laughs> we've got pedicures, we've got dental appointments. Honestly, all the animals are just divas. Damn, that booty. Oh, God. <laughs> He's posing for us right now. Welcome to the San Diego Safari Park. And I even bought this special mum hat for the occasion. Very nice. 
take a look with me. G'day, my name is Zeus and I'll be your guide today in this safari park in the United States of America. It's a wild James Turner. And what's that? A wild Zeus. <laughs> I've never seen flamingos in real life before and I'm so excited. What happens when they die?